This is a fun team to watch. This is a team that now you talk about it. I'll put it to you this way, Dan. My son is 23. And when I told him I had this game, first thing he said, oh, wow, that'll be cool. You get to see the Bengals. We're visiting with Charles Davis, this will be the first Bengals game that you and Ian will do this year. What are you looking forward to seeing on the Cincinnati team? Well, you know, Let's get away from all the things we're looking to see them get better at doing in the, after this two-game losing streak. Let's just talk about the Bengals overall, where they are a team that people want to watch play. This is a fun team to watch. This is a team that now you talk about it. I'll put it to you this way, Dan. My son is 23, and when I told him I had this game, first thing he said, oh, wow, that'll be cool. You get to see the Bengals. Let's talk about the Bengals wide receiver core a little bit uh, more closely. What are your observations about Jamar, T, and Tyler so far? I just think that they work together so well. They kind of do it all, but some of the, but you gotta accentuate what their strengths are. With Jamar Chase, the explosiveness is off the charts. With T Higgins, the strength, the ability to, to, to shed people after, after a catch. And Tyler Boyd, we've recognized he's a very good player for a long time now. Put him in the slot, and figure out how you're going to cover him. Very nifty in what he does, excellent hands, body control, the whole deal. Charles, let's talk a little bit about the Bengals' defense. Through five weeks, it was great. Fifth in the NFL and fewest points allowed. The last couple of games, they've given up a bunch. What must the defense do against a very good Raiders offense this week? Well, it's funny because the Raiders' identity, what they wanted to be their identity starting the season, was a really hard running football team. Now you got Derek Carr with the explosiveness out wide, with the ability to create plays. Brian Edwards is a big, strong physical receiver, but he's not a sprinter. And Darren Waller, of course, is a tight end. Mas you know, he's a wide receiver masquerading as a tight end. He's just a bigger force. And he hasn't gotten the ball as much lately. So I have a feeling Greg Olson, that offensive coordinator, he's written down on his list, find opportunities for Darren Waller. So it'll be interesting to see how that matchup could takes place. Charles, this has been a treat. It's always great to catch up. I hope you have a great game on Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Hey, right back at you, Dan. I can't wait to see you when we get there, see you and Dave and, and the crew. It's always a blast to see. It's been way too long. It's been a long time since I've done a Bengals game, but we are very excited to see them in person.